This is some of the more distressing news in his Time Magazine interview uh, for me and others like me, but I think Trump will fix it. I I think Trump was just sort of shooting off the cuff and will do what he promised to do. But I got to be honest, these are terrible answers he gave on the trans issue. Terrible. Uh, He was asked, okay, let's see. In 2016, you said transgender people could use whatever bathroom they chose. Do you still feel that way? I don't want to get into the bathroom issue, he says, because it's a very small number of people we're talking about, and it's ripped apart our country. So they'll have to settle whatever the law finally agrees. I'm a big believer in the Supreme Court, and I'm going to go by their rulings. And so far, I think their rulings have been rulings that people are going along with. But we're talking about a very small number of people, and we're talking about it, and it gets massive coverage, and it's not a lot of people. That's the wrong answer, Mr. President-elect. The answer is, I don't believe men should be in women's bathrooms or private spaces. That's the pre- proper answer. I realize Trump hasn't been paying attention to this, um, but that's this is the wrong answer for Republicans and for the country and for women. Then they ask, but on that note, there's a big fight on this in Congress now. The incoming trans member from Delaware, Sarah McBride, says we should all be focused on more important issues. Do you agree? I do agree with that, he says. On that, Absolutely. As I was saying, it's a small number of people. It was a big issue, though, on the campaign the reporter follows up. This is the reporter saying it's a big issue, and he's saying it's not. Uh, I mean, one of the ads that your campaign put the most money behind was the Trump is for us and Harris is for they, them. And he responds, well, it's true. Trump is for us. And the reporter says, right, obviously it strikes a chord. And Trump adds, I mean, Trump is definitely for us, okay? And us is the vast, vast majority of people in this country, And also, I want to have all people treated fairly. You know, forget about the majority or not majority. I want people to be treated well and fairly. Um, And then they ask last question on the trans issue. Will you reverse Biden's protections for trans kids under Title IX? And his answer is, I'm going to look at it very closely. We're looking at it right now. We're going to look at it. We're going to look at everything. Look, the country's torn apart. We're going to look at everything. That's not the right answer, sir. With respect That is the wrong answer. You had the issue correct in your campaign video that features you on camera saying this. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations, for sex discrimination and the elimination of federal funding, I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill will also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect the rights of parents from being forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the that's correct the answer. answer. Please repeat what you said on the campaign trail and everything will be great. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I think you're right. And I, I, I actually think that is where he's going to land. In fact, you know, I mean, it's happening already. You've got a Republican House of Representatives with an NDAA. It's a defense authorization bill where that action is actually happening right now. I mean, this week, a a bill will pass and go into law that has the beginnings of pulling back all these transgender rights that the Biden administration invented out of thin air. So I think there's going to be an appetite to do all that. I I actually think he will land on the right side of it. I think what you're struggling with in a transition period is, you know, you got only so much political capital. He knows the border issue is the reason why he is where he is. He knows that this tax issue is absolutely imperative to restoring American economy and ultimately what they think of him at the end of the day. And he knows that all of that is going to take the full width of everything that they've got in that administration, all the political capital that they've accumulated. So he probably doesn't want to get out and start making declarations about all kinds of other things that he knows he he doesn't have to do on day one. All that being said, Megan, you are right. Hmm. The answer to that was the answer that he provided during the course of the campaign. I, I, I just don't read that as what he said is a is a walk back. It's less than, you know, what I'd want to hear for sure. But I, I think we'll still get there. I, I believe you're right. And I pray you're right, because I don't want to have this fight 
again, but I will. Yeah. If I have it yeah. against a president mm -hmm. I support and voted for, I will. I will have it with him. I will have it with anybody. Yeah. I, I don't care what their partisan stripes are. Boys should not be playing in girls' sports. And Title IX, by the way, should be revised by Trump the same way Biden revised it, which was yeah. through the Department of Education and Miguel Cardona, who did it on his own, accepting mm -hmm. comment from the public, which I'm sure was overwhelmingly against these changes, but they did it anyway. And Trump mm -hmm. should undo it. He should do to it with Linda McMahon exactly what he did to it with Betsy DeVos. And mm -hmm. that's what should happen. I think that's what will happen because I think Trump just isn't focused on this. And I agree the deportations are more important. That, that should be you know, where he spends most of his political capital. But this is not going to cost him anything. But 70 percent of the American people plus, between, it's as it's high as almost 90 in some yeah. polls, don't want to see boys and girls sport, sports. This is not – this will cost no political capital. So th this is a no-brainer. Someone's just got to get to the president and make that clear. And I believe Elon Musk is the person to do that because he is totally eyeball to eyeball with me yeah. on this issue. That's really clear. For those of us who have been holding our breath for the past several months waiting for this election, we can finally exhale. Work can now be done on the major issues this country is facing, one of the most significant being our national debt. The fact is our nation's broke, and that debt is a house of cards that cannot be quickly dismantled. So the strategy for you probably remains the same when it comes to your investments. You might want to diversify your savings. This is why I want to tell you about Birch Gold. So many things are out of our control, out of our president's control, so it can be important to have a safe haven for your savings. Birch Gold Group can help you convert an IRA or 401k into an IRA in physical gold. And the best news is it does not cost you one cent out of pocket. Text MK to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold. Plus, right now you will receive a free one ounce silver eagle for every $5,000 purchased. Protect your savings with Birch Gold and text MK to 989898 to claim your eligibility for free silver today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.